The Battle of Bunker Hill, fought on June 17, 1775, near Boston, Massachusetts, marked a pivotal moment in the early stages of the American Revolutionary War. While it was not the first engagement between the American colonists and British forces, it was a significant clash that demonstrated the colonists' determination to resist British authority and set the stage for the formal Declaration of Independence. This battle, despite its name, primarily took place on Breed's Hill, adjacent to Bunker Hill. This essay will explore the background, events, and aftermath of the Battle of Bunker Hill, highlighting its role in shaping the trajectory of the American Revolution. By the mid-18th century, the 13 American colonies had become increasingly discontented with British rule. Issues such as taxation without representation, restrictions on colonial trade, and the presence of British troops fueled resentment among the colonists. The situation reached a boiling point with events like the Stamp Act of 1765 and the Boston Massacre of 1770. The tensions culminated in the Boston Tea Party in 1773, a defiant act of protest against British taxation policies. In response to growing unrest, the British Parliament passed a series of punitive measures known as the Coercive Acts or Intolerable Acts in 1774. These acts aimed to tighten British control over the colonies, particularly Massachusetts, where much of the resistance was centered. The acts included the Boston Port Act, which closed the Port of Boston until the destroyed tea was paid for, and the Massachusetts Government Act, which altered the colonial charter and restricted town meetings. The mounting discontent and British military presence in the colonies set the stage for armed conflict. The first shots of the Revolutionary War were fired at Lexington and Concord on April 19, 1775, as colonial militias clashed with British troops in open conflict. These skirmishes marked the beginning of hostilities, prompting both sides to prepare for more extensive military engagements. Following the skirmishes at Lexington and Concord, the colonial militias, often referred to as Minutemen, laid siege to Boston, where British forces were stationed. The siege of Boston became a critical phase in the early stages of the American Revolution, as both sides maneuvered and fortified their positions. General Thomas Gage commanded the British forces in Boston, while the colonial forces were led by a combination of local leaders, including Artemis Ward and others. The colonial militias, lacking formal training and discipline compared to the British regulars, faced challenges in organizing and maintaining a prolonged siege. Despite these difficulties, they succeeded in blocking the land access to the city, trapping the British within its confines. The standoff continued for several weeks, during which both sides sought to gain advantages and assess the strength and strategies of their adversaries. As the siege progressed, the colonial leaders recognized the strategic importance of controlling the high ground around Boston. Breed's Hill, adjacent to Bunker Hill, offered a commanding view of the city and its harbor. The colonial leaders, eager to assert their military presence and demonstrate their resolve, decided to fortify Breed's Hill. On the night of June 16, 1775, under the cover of darkness, over a thousand colonial troops led by Colonel William Prescott began constructing a redoubt on Breed's Hill. The decision to fortify Breed's Hill instead of Bunker Hill was likely influenced by its proximity to the city and its strategic advantage in overseeing Boston. The operation was conducted with a remarkable degree of silence, surprising the British forces in the morning when they discovered the imposing earthworks that had taken shape overnight. Upon discovering the colonial fortifications on the morning of June 17, 1775, the British command, led by General William Howe, recognized the threat posed by the colonial position. The British leadership decided to launch an assault to dislodge the colonial forces from Breed's Hill. The ensuing battle would become one of the bloodiest and most significant engagements of the early stages of the Revolutionary War. The initial phase of the Battle of Bunker Hill involved British ships bombarding the colonial positions from the harbor, attempting to soften their defenses. As the smoke from the bombardment enveloped the battlefield, British infantry began their advance up Breed's Hill. The colonial militia, armed with muskets and a limited supply of ammunition, held their fire until the British were within close range. One of the most enduring aspects of the Battle of Bunker Hill is the famous order attributed to Colonel William Prescott, don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. This order is said to have been given to ensure that the colonial militiamen conserved their limited ammunition and inflicted maximum damage on the advancing British forces. While the British forces ultimately claimed victory at the Battle of Bunker Hill, the cost was staggering. 
the disciplined and well-equipped British regulars suffered significant casualties, with over a thousand soldiers killed or wounded. The colonial forces, though forced to retreat, demonstrated their ability to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the most formidable military powers of the time. The Battle of Bunker Hill highlighted the effectiveness of the colonial militia in the right defensive circumstances and revealed the vulnerabilities of the British Army when faced with unconventional tactics. The British victory was more a testament to their persistence and superior resources than a decisive demonstration of military superiority.